Barmulloch, a housing estate to the north of Glasgow and home to Tracy Wilde. One November afternoon, a friend of the young mother asked a neighbour to check on Tracy. Tracy. Moments later, the neighbour finds Tracy's lifeless body behind her bedroom door. resident here in Glasgow's Barmulloch spread a wave of fear beyond the tenement flats and high-rise blocks of the neighbourhood. Tracy Wilde had been trying to turn her troubled young life around when it was cruelly taken from her. Was it just another drug-related death or was it something more sinister? Tracy Wilde was just 21 years old when she was murdered, an age which is usually celebrated as a milestone into adulthood. But with a three-year-old child, her own flat, and more than her fair share of life experiences, Tracy was wise beyond her years. Her maturity and quirky personality meant she was well-liked. Everybody liked Tracy, she was a lot of fun. You know, I liked to go to places, and um, we would go to like roller skating and things like that when we were all kids, as a group of that went. Um, just was a really nice girl. Tracy was a fun-loving person. Um, she was witty. She was funny. Um, she always had something to say about everything. Um, she could have her moments with tempers and things like that again, um, but that was part of being the whole of Tracy. Tracy managed to maintain a positive facade despite a sometimes troubled and confusing childhood. Her biological mother, Faye, was only 15 when she was born, so the two were brought up as sisters. She was adopted by her uh, paternal grandmother and her uh, step-grandfather. Uh, she was brought up by them. Her, her mother, uh, own mother had her at a, a very young age and she was initially brought up by her grandmother and step-grandfather and they in fact adopted her in the late 80s. Tracy's step-grandfather, Thomas Wilde, asked not to be identified in this programme. I was married to her grand. Margaret, I was, I was Faye's mother. I adopted Tracy. When she was about three, she was just a harem scare him. She didn't think twice of arguing with me. She spoke her mind out. But she was good natured and good hearted. Tracy later moved into a flat in Glasgow's Barmulloch area with her boyfriend Scott Smith. When she fell pregnant, her relationship with her step grandfather deteriorated. Well, she fell out with me at that time because she was going with a and I was doing an puzzle. And then I found out she was pregnant and I wasn't happy at all. Despite Tracy's young age, she was delighted with her new home and the prospect of becoming a mother. Tracy moved into Burmulloch roughly about when she was about 18, 17, 18. Um, she liked where she stayed, she liked her house, she loved everything about it. Um, decorating it, getting it ready for a new baby, things like that. Um, and she settled really well. The moment she found out she was pregnant with Megan, um, she was absolutely delighted. Um, that carried on throughout most of her pregnancy and on to the birth of her baby. Although Tracy's life in Barmulloch seemed to be going well after the birth of her daughter Megan, she started dabbling in drugs. Her relationship with Scott deteriorated and he eventually moved out. When Tracy turned to drugs, we were quite devastated. Um, when I say drugs, I mean like hard drugs. Um, we were devastated, we were angry, um, there was quite a lot of emotions. Um, but at that time, all we could do is advise her and be with her as friends um, to try and obviously hope that she would take the right paths and no um, letting silly happen to herself or anything. It was sad because, <clears throat> I mean, she was such a, a nice girl, you know, and then her life had changed. I mean, it got her down and I just feel that she, the environment that she was living in and the people around about her, she, there was no way she was ever going to go off drugs and she was still going to keep those types of friends and staying in the area where she was staying. Despite her increasingly chaotic lifestyle, Tracy was a model mother in every other respect. She was a great mum, doted on Megan, absolutely doted on her. 
Um, the, the, she always had like very well dressed, you know, you would never, nobody could ever say a bad word about her for that, you know, that she was well looked after, um, Megan. And Tracy just doted on her, that's what Tracy lived for was Megan. But Tracy's love for her daughter didn't eliminate her many problems. As her heroin addiction increased, she turned to prostitution to feed her habit. When I first found out that Tracy was um, a prostitute, I was uh, devastated. Um, I was upset for Tracy. I was upset for her wee girl. Um, and I was upset for her safety. I found it quite hard to deal with the fact that she, that she was obviously going into town and she was prostituting. But at the same time, you know, I, mean, I understood that that's how she had to do it for the drug habit that she had. Um, <clears throat> I just feel that maybe if she had more support and, and she was in the, in the area with the friends that she was, then she wouldn't have been doing what she was doing. Although Tracy began by working the odd night, gradually that increased, as did concern for her safety. The night before Tracy's body was found, she had been meticulous as always about getting ready. She was proud of her appearance. In a cruel twist, Tracy had told neighbours that she hadn't intended working that evening. The night she was killed, I'd seen her about five o'clock. I'd come back from my mum's and she'd popped in and said that she wasn't planning going out that night, but some girl had been in and stole her last £20 and, and said that she had no other choice but to go out that night. Less than 24 hours later, Tracy was found dead. Some friends of Tracy Wild uh, had been trying to get in touch with her throughout the day and had gone to her home address at 17 Torryburn Road in Burmullock. Uh, been unable to gain entry to the house, or, uh, they saw that her veranda door was lying open and they were able to get in touch with a neighbour. I think it was about five, half five. 